What's going on everybody? Logan here for a new video. Now today I'm going to be talking about a question that I actually get a lot, uh, even from people that I went to like high school and everything, uh, and it's, you know, how long did it actually take me to reach a thousand subscribers? Now why a thousand subscribers? That's because once you get to a thousand subscribers, that's when you can finally monetize your videos. Uh, so basically you're able to generate some kind of ad revenue from the content you create. Now I will let you know before I even get started that everyone is going to be a little bit different. Uh, everyone has different niches, whether it's going to be uh, uh, car related stuff, makeup stuff, gaming stuff, uh, sports stuff. I mean, everyone's niche is different. So uh, the demand, you know, the people watching those kind of videos is going to vary from each category. Another thing to consider is if you get super lucky and one of your videos goes viral or, you know, you release the right video at the right time uh, and that just blows up. I mean, if that happens, then hey, you can get a thousand subscribers in less than a month technically. But for me, it did take me right at about two years. But there were several things that that assisted me to get 2,000 subscribers, and there were a few things I was doing that was actually hurting me. Uh, a few things that helped me were collaborations with other YouTubers, such as Online Car Show, uh, Yankee Dewey, which I believe is uh, Houston, Texas Mustang now, or H Tech Stang. Uh, I did. I was actually in one of RP Productions' videos, so there were several things that set more attention my way. Uh, a few things I was doing that was hurting me was upload times. When I initially started making videos, I didn't understand that the time that you upload is super, super important. I mean, I would upload at like one, two o'clock in the morning, and it would get like no views. I mean, even now, if I upload at two o'clock in the morning, I mean, I might only get twenty or thirty views. Versus if I upload at like five o'clock on a Sunday, I mean, that video might get three, four hundred views. And if I do a like a highly searched topic such as like TX2K. Uh, one of my TX2K videos I think got like three or four thousand views all in like a day's time frame. So it just depends on the topic of your videos and just upload time, thumbnail. That's another huge one is thumbnail. Uh, I mean a lot of people think that I mean a lot of people just use the normal thumbnail that comes up because it gives you three different options uh, just from random points in your video. Uh, but a lot of people are missing out by not making those custom thumbnails. Make those custom thumbnails. Uh, make them pop out so that people want to click on them. Another big thing is tags. Uh, a lot of people, they don't put any tags on their videos, which is a huge mistake because you can have the best edited video out there uh, about a really popular topic, but if you don't have the tags in there, if people can't find your video, then it's not going to get any views. Which I know I keep talking about views, you know, how do views translate to subscribers? Uh, basically, I mean, more people that watch your videos, the more chance that somebody's gonna find your stuff interesting enough to follow you. And when somebody leaves a comment or anything, I mean, take time out of your day to reply back to them because they obviously took time out of their day to leave a comment, whether it was bad or good or not. Uh, I mean, they took time out of their day, take some time out of your day to reply to them. Uh, it makes them feel that much more special, I guess, to you because, I mean, even now, I have like 2,200 subscribers. Uh, I mean, I try to at least, I mean, once a day, go through and reply to as many comments as I can. I mean, some days I can't get to all of them, but I try to reply to as many people as I can, and people have even sent me messages saying that's really cool how I try to, how I actually communicate with my subscribers, and that's one big part that's actually missing from a lot of different YouTubers out there, is communication with your fan base. And never buy subscribers, because YouTube knows. Uh, because when you go to these sites and buy the subscribers, uh, those subscribers that subscribe to you aren't only going just to you, they're subscribed to all these other people who bought the subscribers uh, and they're not watching the videos and YouTube is able to detect whenever these fake accounts go on uh, when they subscribe to you and they'll just take them right back and you can tell when people buy subscribers or views because you can go to their social blade and type in their uh, YouTube name and you'll see a sharp increase in subscribers or views uh, and then usually you'll see a sharp decrease and actually go into the negatives uh, I mean one person in particular I'm not gonna name him but I see how sometimes um, he'll shoot up positive 300, 400 subscribers, and then the next week he'll lose three, 400 subscribers. So, I mean, yeah, he keeps some of those subscribers, but I mean, you lose the majority of them. Same thing with views. Uh, you can go to their social blade and you can see when it goes negative, they bought views. Uh, me, I'm glad that I've never had to buy views or subscribers. And I, mean, I understand, and I know several YouTubers who have bought subscribers, uh, they don't do it for like self glorification or anything. Uh, one person in particular, why he did it is because 
he just, when people go to his YouTube and they see, you know, if he only has 20, 30 subscribers, you know, that's basically nothing and they might not even watch a video. But if they see how you have 2,000 subscribers, they're more opt to subscribe to you and just watch your videos. I know it's weird, but yes, I know several people that do buy views and subscribers. And another tool that a lot of people don't utilize is other social media platforms such as like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, I mean, Instagram alone has gotten me a ton of subscribers because I, mean, I just regularly post videos in my car, uh, new car information. Uh, and usually Instagram does see it first, so go follow my Instagram, it's BubbaBlue843. But use your other social medias. Uh, Twitter, I'm horrible on Twitter, I usually never even post. Uh, for me, it's actually a little confusing. But Facebook, uh, I have an own, I have my own Bubba Blue Facebook page, so I try to post to those as, as much as I can. Uh, and even if you get one, two, three, four subscribers, those subscribers you didn't have before. And don't be shy when it comes to sharing your videos on your own personal, uh, your personal social medias, because I, I don't know why, but for me, the longest time I didn't want my friends and family to know that I was even doing YouTube. Uh, I, I'm not sure why. Uh, to me, it's more like a mind thing. But I think once I got to like maybe two or three hundred subscribers, that's when I started sharing my stuff on my personal Facebook. But just don't be shy. You know, let your friends and family know that you have your own YouTube because those can be the first people to support you. They'll be more apt to support you versus just some random person on YouTube. So for me, it took about two years to get to a thousand subscribers, and it's kind of cool because less than a year later, I passed two thousand. So that kind of shows me that I'm growing at a very decent rate. And if I just keep pumping videos out and and good quality videos because that's one major thing too. People can tell when you just throw a video together. Uh, I would like to think that my videos now are way better than they were when I first started out. Uh, and actually, actually, when I view some of my videos that I originally did, it's almost cringy because I, mean, I was using like Microsoft Office, or no, not Microsoft Office, uh, Microsoft uh, PowerPoint. And I mean, it was just an awful way I put it together. Uh, I'm actually kind of surprised that some of those videos even have the views they do. but put good quality out there and consistently like don't just post a video then wait two or three weeks post another video try to post weekly uh, like me I mean I know I don't post daily but maybe every other day every three days or something uh, heck even today I'm posting two videos I posted one this morning now I'm posting this one now so post regularly and always be thinking of like new ideas uh, for me I mean I was working out today and I was kind of thinking about it how a lot of people ask me you know how long to need to get to get to a thousand subscribers so they could actually start making money and uh, that's why I'm making this video now and I don't want y'all to think that I'm making a ton of money that I'm just rolling in cash I mean I do make a little bit of money I think total I've made like 1500 on YouTube I mean it's nothing crazy I mean yeah it's a, a decent little bit of side change but it's not my main job. I mean, I'm a manager at GNC. That's my main gig. And I'm actually going for firefighting, uh, possibly in the next year or so. Hopefully I'll be a firefighter. So, I mean, YouTube, if it were to take off, I would like for it to be my full-time job, but I'm not counting on it. And don't get into YouTube for money, because, hey, I'm, I've been doing YouTube for over three years now, and look, I am only making about 100 to 150 if I get lucky, maybe $200 in a month, uh, which isn't enough to live on. So, and for the longest time, I was making a lot of videos without getting paid anything, which before you even get into YouTube, make sure that you're getting into something that you love, because when it comes to cars, I am just obsessed. I love all kind of cars, not just Fords. Uh, I love Chevy, uh, certain Chevys, Dodge. I mean, if it's a cool car, I really like it. Uh, I mean, I'm just a huge car fanatic. Because there is a lot of work that goes into these videos from filming, editing, uh, buying your equipment and everything. Uh, I mean, for the longest time, I was negative as far as me buying my old GoPro, uh, some of my old filming equipment and everything. I mean, I was negative. I mean, yeah, granted, now I've made more money than what I've spent on YouTube, thankfully. But all of the hours that I've invested into YouTube, I mean, I think I have 240 videos now. So... 240 videos. Let's just say that it's an hour every single video that it takes me to film and edit and post it and everything, which it doesn't. Usually it's about three to four hours. Uh, like a video like this might take me an hour and a half from filming it to editing to posting it just because I me mean, I'm just talking in front of a camera. But some of these car show videos, uh, like when me and me and James, when we go race at Sealy, editing those videos might take four or five hours. That's my dog over there. But it's seriously some videos can take a lot of time to edit 
and especially if you're just starting out. I remember even like a basic video like this would take me three, four hours to edit when I was first starting out because I didn't know all of the tip, tips and tricks as far as you know cutting, uh, remembering your cuts, uh, just different things. So it can take longer. So if you think about it, yeah, I've made 1500 bucks, but with everything, with all the hours I've spent in these videos, I basically made nothing. But it definitely pays off because hey, even now I'm making money when I sleep. So for me, I really like YouTube. I love YouTube actually because it gets me to meet new people, uh, gets me to engage in the car community, which I absolutely love, uh, gets me engaged in different car companies such as, gosh, what is it, um, Lithium, some kind of Lithium car company or something. Uh, they just sent me an email a few days ago, I uh, wanted to know if I want to use one of their products. So. It's cool, and if you get into it for the right reasons, you can really have fun doing videos. And I know it's like some kind of weird taboo to talk about money, but I try to be as transparent as I can with y'all uh, because you know, I just want to help y'all as much as I can. And heck, y'all could go to Social Blade and see a rough estimate of how much I actually make. I mean, it's not the top number. Like, I think right now it might say that I make anywhere from like $1 to like $300 a month. Um, in, the, well, in the last 28 days. That's not 100% accurate. Usually it's like in the top 70% to 75%. And sometimes what I make is actually more than what it says. Uh, it just depends on the month. I'm not sure exactly how Social Blade works, but you can see how much money any YouTuber makes. But with all that, I think that I've given y'all all of the best information that I can give y'all. Uh, if there's something that you want to ask me or something, just leave a comment down below. I'll try to get back to it as quick as possible. If you want to ask me a personal question, just go over to Instagram and shoot me a DM there. I'll answer as quick as I can, like I said. But guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video and found some of my information useful. Uh, if you did, please like it and please subscribe. And as always, have a great day. And one thing I forgot is that you need to be original. Uh, if you look at all of my content, I am not like any other YouTuber out there. I mean, yeah, I just kind of share certain things as far as how I film or the stuff I film about, but overall, uh, I mean, just my overall style and everything is my own personal style. Uh, personally, I mean, looking at Yola Douchebag and uh, Street Speed 717, and a little bit of Guitar Mageddon, they were kind of the ones, and RP Productions, uh, pretty much the top four that everyone follows, but they were really the ones that kind of encouraged me uh, to even do YouTube, so I mean, I'm not doing the same exact videos as them. I mean, I might share certain things, certain aspects of their videos, but I have my own style.